Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm here today to share a little something with you that came through the post. I know who it's from and I'm really sorry stuff that it's taken me this long to get to it but I've been a bit busy trying to catch up with things and finally feel that I'm almost there. Steph, to anyone that doesn't know her, is a woolly Steph who has an account on Instagram who has her channel here on YouTube, who is one of the most modest ladies I have ever, ever encountered. Um, she's uh, very supportive of other people here on YouTube and loves to take part in small challenges and all sorts of things. She is just such a lovely lady. She really is. Um, she's she's needed a bit of encouragement to put herself out there and understandably it is quite a daunting prospect but um, she's very kindly sent me this parcel so without further ado I have opened up the top as you can see but I've not taken anything out oh my word oh dear right I think that's everything and we'll start with this one here, which looks like it might be a card with the lovely uh, punch cut snowflakes. Ooh, knobbly knobbly bits, methinks. Let's have a little look see. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, now that's very interesting. That's a fold. Oh, wait a minute, Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, Steph. Velcro and Velcro and over. Oh, I say. How <laughs> Oh, I'm very taken with that. I think this might be, um, is it, is it those pearl drops, the Nuvo drops, Steph? It rather looks as if it might be. Look at that. I'm just showing Gary who sat in here with me at his workbench. Oh, I do like that. How very clever. Oh, I say, well, that, that's a first step. I should be having a go at that. I've not actually seen that done before. Um, it looks like Steph's also done some gold splodging and cutting and distressing and just made it her own with this lovely... I don't know quite what this gold is, but it's a lovely, lovely colour and it is just all around the edge, which makes the Christmas tree really pop, but it's a Christmas tree wrap. How clever is that? And then your message is on the inside of one of the flaps, which allows it then to fold flat for posting. Oh, I should be making some of those for next year. Thank you very much indeed. Oh yes, love it, love it, love it. Thank you. Excuse me for sniffing. I'm, um, I can't believe I might be off again, but I think I probably am. So many germs out there at the moment. I don't think anyone's escaping. Right, lovely tissue paper, which I will reuse. Oh. Merry Christmas from Woolly Staff, December 2019. Velcroed again. Oh, I say. Oh, that's really lovely stuff. Is that Artie May's papers? No. No, it isn't. But look at it. It's a vintage style, and of course, the craft paper makes it jump out as well. Some script, the two little children, Steph's introduction on the front there. Everything is put together so beautifully, and this is Steph. This is how she works. Um, oh my look! Merry Christmas. Are these altered playing cards? It's larger than ATC, I think. I haven't got my. Hold on a moment. Let's have a little look. To see, I think it might well be. Well, I would say pretty much. Or Steph has cut something to size. That's the, that's the altered playing card, the playing cards that I'm using. But there's not a whole lot in it. 
Oh, how lovely. So much texture. There's, if you look, Steph has stamped out the reindeer, then put the wooden reindeer on, then used the vellum on the side, and it looks like glimmer mist embossing. Again, the lovely gold around the edge to make it pop. One of four. So it's a special series. How lovely. And then the butterflies on the back here with the gold paint, which is really, really shiny. But the butterflies do come through. How lovely. Have yourself a merry little Christmas with the Christmas tree. This is so lovely. So lovely stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, I say. One of four. She's obviously made some sets up and then put them together to make the little sets that she sent out. And that's a one of four. Look at that. Oh my word. That is just gorgeous. Thank you so much. Well, if you apply this kind of thing to your um, playing card alterations stuff, you're going to have an absolute ball because these are perfect. I absolutely adore them. I love the little box that you've put together there. That is just so clever to hold them all in place. And I would urge anyone that hasn't met Steph or been over to her channel to go over and check her channel out. Check out the things that she's been making because she's a lovely crafter. Lovely, lovely lady. She's made some silent movies but actually gone on to do some speakies too. And oh, I just think she's fabulous. So modest and, and so unsure but everything I'm looking at here today speaks to somebody that takes a lot of care over what they make and really actually enjoys the process. So we'll have a look at this last one here. Oh dear, you have spoilt me, Steph. I wasn't expecting this at all. Thank you. What a lovely thing to do. Oh my. Oh my! Oh gosh! There's another lovely make with the jingles that's gone on my tree. Look at that. Two little jingle bells, the ribbon, three layered hearts with vintage paper, the gold around the edge again. I don't I really don't know what it is. It's gotta be some gilding wax or something of that nature. And then hearts come home for Christmas. Isn't that the truth? All beautifully finished on the back, even with the plaid button hiding the workings for the dangling bit. And that will, as soon as I'm done here under the camera, go on my tree and then come out every year. That is lovely. Thank you so much. And then I think I'm looking at Artie Mays paper. I'm pretty sure this is Artie Mays. More dingle dangles inside. I've just caught sight of. Let's open it up and see. Oh my word! <laughs> oh my Steph! Oh that is absolutely... Oh I say that's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. How clever. How clever. We've got some tassels here with the, um, <laughs> amazing, the uh, paper pins, paper clips that I love to use with the wavy bit on that they're so versatile. And then Steph has obviously wrapped them in the Christmas paper. Season's greetings, as the saying. The wonderful little tassel on the bottom, which I think she's done with crochet, crochet yarn. I don't believe they're bought ones. I think Steph has made them herself. And then there's another one here. How wonderful. All the same thing, but look how effective it can all look. I mean, it's not a five minute job, that's for sure. But little things like this just go on forever and ever. And you just... 
take so much pleasure from them because clearly a lot of work has gone into them, a lot of thought and I just love it. Thank you so much Steph. Oh my word. I don't want to put any of this where you can't see it now and I can't um, widen out any more because of time of day again where, where I'm trying to avoid the old um, foot of the leg of the tripod. And what's this? Oh, oh my gosh. How clever. It's a sandwich. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, Steph. You'll know, you'll call it something different. It's a sandwich tag. And what Steph has done here is punched out or die cut out. I'm assuming, I wouldn't know for sure, but because it's sandwiched, I would think that's it. And then underneath there has put some coloured paper and then some glossy accents or something of that nature to make that little area pop. How clever. Very, very delicate. Plenty of room for writing. A lovely little tag. It won't go anywhere, Steph. This is all going to stay together because it's mine. <laughs> so I won't be passing it on to anyone. Truly inspiring. That is such a lovely, lovely idea. Love it. Absolutely love it. And there's the belly band across the front here to hold everything in place. I'll leave the I'll leave those um, little paper clips out because you can still see them. And then there are these light bulb pins on a hinged oh on a hinged um, like a little flap a hinged flap and everything is so beautifully made. I shall be having a go at this stuff because this is such a fabulous idea for sending out little gifts and things and then the dangles which are really gorgeous it's it's obviously jewellery wire with a whole load of pretty pretty beads there's a whole load of wrapping going on at the top here the lovely little jingle bell at the bottom Look at the variety of beads, crackle beads, square beads, round beads, all lovely colours with spacer beads in between. Fabulous. Love it. What a wonderful inspiration this pack, pack of loveliness is. Thank you so much, Steph. I'm going to pop that. Oops. I don't know where this idea came from, but... Just, just to, I'm sure I've said when I've filmed about Steph before, um, she's the only lady I know that has made a album out of old CDs. So it could, this could very well be Steph's very own idea. There's a lovely cluster of wire wrapped fibres there, rick rack, tiny, tiny ribbons, jute, baker's twine. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Oh my word, this, this is just representative of so many hours of work. It's, it's incredible, it really is. Thank you so, so much. And then the final one is another bead style. Oops, I'm going to take that one out as well. And that's got the tiny little key on the bottom on a jump ring. Again a lot of wire wrapping, festive coloured beads, the gold, the green and the red. Beautifully done. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much Steph. That This is so so pretty. So pretty. And it's just filling me up with lovely ideas. I'm not going to say I should get round to them this side of Christmas but I will certainly be having a little try at some of the things that uh, Steph has put together here because I think it's such a fabulous idea. Okay that's that one and if I just put, oh, look and then some dinky little oh gosh lovely little pocket in the bottom 
and then Steph's gone on to make some gorgeous gorgeous little tags look at these joy with the glittery uh, snowflake wooden snowflake another little tag with paper and a tiny little postage stamp there a poinsettia with a lot of now that looks like seed beads but I could be wrong I think it's seed beads in glossy accents but I'm not sure but it is very very effective however Steph has done it and then finally Santa squidging himself in or out of the chimney there how wonderful thank you so much Steph I can't tell you how absolutely thrilled I am to have received your lovely package and um, well, what a wonderful surprise absolutely beautiful thank you so so much you are such a clever lady and seriously your work is wonderful it really is there's no quickness involved it's all about getting it right and making it very very lovely I love this concept I can't tell you it's it's such a brilliant idea I've seen booklets I've seen um, boxes for these little keepsake things and and that kind of thing and and embellishment um, books I've, I've done a couple myself but never anything that is so wonderfully compact with lots of room for so many different items so thank you once again I will leave a link to Steph's channel below as I say please go along and check her out and subscribe you really won't be disappointed there's the lovely wrapped Christmas tree I'm going to call it that because I don't know quite what the official term would be but even even the Christmas tree look you can stand it up and have it have a little decoration in its own right there it feels really sturdy because of all the folding that's occurred and it certainly isn't going anywhere once it's stood up so thank you everyone for sharing this time with me and uh, I do hope you go along and check out Steph's channel and give her some support she's not got many many subscribers at the moment but I don't think it's going to be long before that changes she is such a lovely lady Take care everyone, happy crafting, bye bye for now.